Empty city. There's nobody here. This is crazy. Alright everyone, welcome to another episode of This Is How I See It. After doing a couple of, uh, of smaller towns across uh, Ontario, southern Ontario, I'm now in the city called Sudbury. Um, I'm up in a place actually called uh, Dynamic Earth, Dynamic Earth Museum. I may or may not go in the museum, but it's actually the highest point in Sudbury, so I can see the city from here. Uh, there's a plaque here actually saying, uh, stating, Nickel Mining in Canada. Canada is a leading producer of nickel and the mining of this metal has contributed significantly significantly to the nation's economy blah 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 so Sudbury is actually known uh, big time for nickel producing and one of the highlights to see is wait for wait for it the largest nickel in the world boom Canada nickel five cents and you can see there's a person, oh, where are the people, where are the people? Oh, the guy's gone. There was a guy sitting down there. Oh, there's a girl there. You can see the, si oh, there's somebody. Now you can see the size of the nickel. That is one big ass nickel. The famous Big Nickel. Check this out. Weighing in at nearly 13,000 kilograms and 9 meters in diameter, the Big Nickel is roughly, woo, times the size of a regular nickel. So, yeah, pretty big. So the view from up here, you can't actually see the downtown, but you can see some of the suburbs. It's actually quite a mountainy or hilly city. I guess they do have a ski slope somewhere. I'll have to check that out at some point. So it is quite hilly. You can see there's I think the downtown is over the hills over there. Alright, I'm now down kind of by the waterfront. There's an amphitheater over there and this is Bell Park. So now we're getting to some of the good stuff. There's a lake right in the center of the city. Let's go check it out. This is their outdoor amphitheater. So in the center of Sudbury is this lake, Ram uh, Ramsey Lake. So the city pretty much just wraps around it. Now the most popular, one of the most popular museums here in the city is Science North, which is this large building here. And I believe this one's probably linked to it. So I've passed two other little private beaches, well not private, but just smaller ones open to public. And there's the main one over there. Hello buddy. So that's the main beach there.
This looks like some kind of abandoned uh, building or abandoned apartment, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know if the city let them do this on purpose or vandalism, who knows. Uh, it's pretty bright. So I did about a 15 minute hike up this uh, small hill to a uh, kind of a gazebo that I'm in right now. There's uh, Sudbury below, not a huge city, uh, about 200,000 population. This is Minnow Lake right down here and then the other lake back behind is the main one I was at earlier. Alright, so in the middle of Sudbury there is a small ski hill, nothing huge and crazy, but there's the lift. And I thought, man, do I want to hike up it? Feeling a little tired today, and then I saw a girl way up top. And she started working her way all the way down, and then she went all the way back up again. So, yeah, she inspired me, so I guess I'll do it. If she can do it, like, more than once, I can do it once. Let's do it! Yep, I did it. Not as big as I thought it was. So there's part of Sudbury down at the bottom. Almost sunset, so it's nice and cool and quiet right now. Well, I just drove around some of the downtown. It's an absolute ghost town. I parked, I'm gonna walk around a little bit, but this uh, church is completely shut down. Doesn't even have any bells up in the towers. They've built a whole new uh, sort of uptown. Big stores, big box stores, that type of thing. So it's completely killed the downtown core, the old downtown. Well, let's walk around and take a look anyways. Well, I must admit, I've never been to Sudbury before, but this place is an absolute ghost town. Uh, I don't know if it's because of COVID or just Sudbury, but it's pretty quiet. This might be a very sensitive topic for many people, but I find cities that have the most religion also have the most homeless. I've been to so many countries and cities that are so, so religious and they have people that struggle the most. You gotta wonder. Well, there's two things I've noticed most about Sudbury. One, there's a lot of churches everywhere. A lot of them are closed. And two, there's a lot of homeless. <laughs> all the parks, there's a lot of homeless downtown and all the parks. You can see across the street here, this is the, uh, the main park. There's a lot of homeless inside, sitting around. Oh, 
Well, this is the heart of the downtown. Greater Sudbury City Hall right there. And other than some homeless people in tents and up on the hill, there's absolutely nobody here. So, I don't know if COVID is still taking over Sudbury or this is just Sudbury. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Empty city, there's nobody here. This is crazy.